Hi everyone, this is Shauna from Shauna Dot Plans on Instagram and here on YouTube. This is the last video of my five days of extreme planning this month. Um, today's palette is really pretty. It's this light and dark kind of purpley eggplanty colors. So I'm going to start by grabbing a little palette. I'm going to take a screenshot, hit the arrow, hit copy, and let's go to the page. So in case you haven't seen this or any of my other videos, Extreme Planning is something hosted by Lenny Digitals. She gives us a free planner or some kind of planning notebook or card every month. And the extreme part of it is that you make a spread and you share it every single day. So I've been doing this for a year and a half. I think my first, I started October 2019. So I've been doing this for quite a while. I've posted something every day. Um, some months I'll do like a theme. I have a lot of leggings. So I've done like a doll theme. I've done legging themes. I've done, what else? Did I do knitting? Anyway, sometimes I do a picture a day, a black and white picture a day. Sometimes Jenna gives us things, um, prompts and stuff. So this month she's given us these color prompts, which I've been loving because I've been finding stuff in my stickers that I maybe haven't used in a while and pulling them out to make my spreads. As well, I've been doing a lot more um, Procreate work to make stickers that match. And I've been having so much fun showing you how I do it. So this is the last video that I'm going to do um, above and beyond my regular Thursday and Sunday videos for this month. <clears throat> so let's dive in and find something in these colors. I'm trying to think. What do we have that's purple? I have a pretty huge sticker collection. Sometimes I forget what I have. So doing this has been fun because it kind of lets me remember. This is a Halloween kit. But those colors are really pretty. I'm thinking maybe this. Hmm, might be a bit too much on the pink side. It's pretty close though. I'm not going to close the, the book. We'll just keep it open and see what else we come across. <clears throat> My good notes is a little slow right now because I have a lot of stuff in it. I need to do some cleaning up. Oh, there's a scattered planner kit that has some pretty purples and stuff in it. <clears throat> Look at that. That's pretty close. All right, I think we have a winner. So we're going to use all the stars in the sea from the scattered planner. I'm not going to use Love Bites, even though it's pretty awesome. Um... So I'm going to pull kind of more of the darker purple stickers. Okay, so I will link this kit in the description of the video, so make sure you go check that out. Um, there also is a discount code for 20% off that you can get. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, so I'll look it up. Or if you go to the Facebook group, you can grab it there. It'll be posted. Um, what should we start with here? This is really pretty. I like that background a bit. <laughs> I want just that part. I'm not sure if I can get just that part. So let's go into Procreate and we'll make a background. <clears throat> so I'm going to do square. We're going to make a square background. So always turn your background color off first. We'll put a couple layers in. Now I already have 
the purples in a palette. So I'm just going to select one. And now let's pick a brush. I have a ton of brushes. I don't even know what they all are. Oh, this like this one looks like mermaid scales. That could be fun. I don't know if I should go dark on light or light on dark. I think we'll do light first. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll pick the dark one and we'll make mermaid scales. Those are too small. Let's make them bigger. So I have no idea where this brush came from. I have a ton of brushes. I don't know what they are. There we go. So this is going to be my background. How easy was that? So I'm gonna go make a PNG. I'm just gonna copy it. I'm not gonna save it to my images because I probably won't ever use it again. And that'll be my first layer. I'm going to delete that because we don't need it anymore. <clears throat> Let's go back into Procreate. So as a member of the Lenny Digital's Patreon account, I don't know what you call it, um, we got these let me go back. You get this really cool um, notebook. So it comes like this with a bunch of layers. <clears throat> so we don't need the top layer. It's just the terms and conditions. Um, but you turn that off and then you have all these different layers. This is how it comes. So I've made mine a little bit different. This is my original copy and I don't edit it. I edit this copy. <clears throat> I've added a, a drop color here um, layer for editing layers. And I'm not going to, I want the white. Jenna made it come with two, four, five default colors. And so we're gonna use just the white default this time. So I'm gonna turn off the other ones. And then we're gonna Put the purple, I think I'm going to use the lighter purple, and I'm just going to make sure I have the drop color here selected. <clears throat> you can see that put the effect, the purple, on my um, binding of the notepad. I'm going to take the dark purple and my brush again, and we'll add the fish scales to it. And now we have a little matchy notepad as well. happened. <clears throat> I swear when we left good notes this was all stretched out. So we'll just put the notebook there. Today is Friday. Actually let's grab a washi. Oh cool, look at the washi. It's got waves. I think I'm gonna do a long press, edit, and crop. And I'm gonna just shrink this down a bit. cute is that? Now we'll grab the Friday sticker. And 
and today is the 9th. All, all the scattered planner kits have all the months, all the days, and all the dates. So they're super useful and versatile. A lot of times I'll even pull those stickers, like use this, just the stickers from the kit and the, the date stickers from the kit and nothing else. Just because they're, they're transparent typically and super versatile. Now, the Scatter Planner also has been doing a daily affirmation sticker that she's giving away for free in her Facebook group. I've already downloaded today's. I am filled with strength and courage. But you know what? I'm going to put that pretty turquoise sticker down underneath it. So that it kind of stands out. There we go. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Alright. Oh, this is so pretty. I was excited for these colors. As soon as I um, looked at them, I thought they were, this was going to be a really pretty spread. Kind of blends in. One of the fun things about the Scattered Planner kits um, is on the title she always makes a sticker and as as a the cover kind of thing as a sticker and usually you can use that in your spread and it looks really pretty and she most of her kits have quotes as well which I also really like so these are kind of blending in a little bit so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into Procreate and I'm going to make some kind of sticker. So I'm going to take the lighter purple and I'm going to select the disc and you can see for this shade of purple or this color of purple there's all these different shades. So I'm going to drag this over. I'm not going to move it along the outside circle. I'm just going to move it within this circle and I'm going to find a lighter shade. So then I know it'll still match nicely. It's just going to give, I want it to give me some kind of contrast that I can do. So the default texture brushes that come with Procreate have some pretty good options and then you can also download tons of stuff for free and you can buy stuff there's lots of different options to get different textures don't be like me i have so many that i don't even know what i have and i can never find the right one um or be like me at whichever it's it's your call anyway let's see what happens I just want to make like kind of like a light thing. Make it a little bit more transparent and a little smaller. I don't know how people make these like backgrounds and different blotches and things. I am not good at drawing. I like matching stickers. <laughs> I don't really like creating things so much. Give me a bunch of colors to play with and that's sort of where I excel. Hearts. Hmm. My uh, Procreate experience has basically just been trial and error. Ooh, that one's kind of fun. Okay, I like this one. So don't be afraid to to play. Like you don't have to have a purpose. You can just play if it doesn't work, you undo it. Try something else. 
what I want. I'm going to go canvas, crop, and I'm just going to bring this in a little bit. I'm not loving this. I don't feel like undoing and erasing. So this time what I want to do is I want to not get close to the edges. Nope. Making it smaller doesn't work. Let's make it bigger again. I think I like that. Okay. So, wrench, share, PNG, copy. And then we'll go back to good notes. I'm just gonna delete these stickers because I want this layer first. Does that lighten it up enough? I don't think it does. All that playing and it didn't do what I wanted better but we need it lighter okay let's delete that layer and I'm gonna bring up my little disc again and I'm gonna go even lighter I'm gonna make it more opaque. Maybe that will help. Are you getting bored of watching me make barely visible scribbles in brokery yet? <laughs> Well, that's kind of fun. I'm all right with that. Okay. Now this will stand out a little bit better. We'll go back to the cover. Grab this one. Oh, that looks good. Okay. Now we need a pencil. So, Jenna from Lenny Digitals. If you look at her blog, she gives away, where's my stack? Am I blind? There it is. <laughs> she gives away these Procreate files with the layers all built in. Just going to delete what I did before. And you can, there's, she has like a blog post, a YouTube video that shows you how to use them. And then you can download the file from her website. And so I've linked her website in the description. So you can go and watch her video and grab the file yourself and make yourself a priority pencil. It's super easy just to drop the colors onto the layers. And then 
one of these shows my recently used. So I'm going to grab that lighter shade that we used. And I'm going to do, not that. Where were those fish scales? I don't even remember. Oh dear. <laughs> I think it was in my imported folder. There they are. Mm, I didn't pick them. Oh, I picked a glitter brush. There we go. So anyway, yeah, you can get this pencil file from Jenna's website. Yesterday I showed some rings that you could get from her website, but they're not there anymore. So I linked instead if you were watching yesterday's video and you want to do rings. She has a YouTube tutorial how to make your own rings from scratch. So I linked that in yesterday's video instead of the rings that I used because they're gone. You'll learn that about Jenna. Um... If you want something, you get it. Don't wait, because it's not gonna stick around forever. She rotates her her inventory and her her things fairly regular to keep everything new and fresh. Alright. This is turning out so cute. Is there any other stickers that I need to include? Remember our palette, we want to make the most of the purpley stickers. I think this is a conch shell, but it has the galaxy. Very pretty. I think I'm done. I think we made a gorgeous, a gorgeous spread. So we did a little bit more playing around in Procreate. You got to watch me fumble a little. Um, I used the All the Stars in the Sea kit from Scattered Planner as well as her free affirmation sticker. So I will link all of that in the description to the video. I hope that I showed you some stuff that was new to you this week. Um, feel free to reach out, ask me any questions. If there's a kit you like that you wanna see me use or a certain shop that you think I might have fun using, let me know. And um, I'd be happy to do that. I'm always looking for fun new stuff. So I will see you Sunday. I'll be doing my next Pond With Me video. No idea what we're going to do it on yet. I'll find something fun by then. I hope you guys all have a great night. And we'll see you soon. Bye.